Kaylee, you asked if there's co-defendants in the law school and if there are any other children who are taking legal action. There will be co-defendants in the lawsuit. We are intending to file Duval, Duval County Schools. Um, we are also going to sue the principal in her individual capacity, the dean in her individual capacity, and the teacher in her individual capacity. Uh, the dean is Chelsea, I'm sorry. Yeah, the dean is Chelsea Warner. And the principal, let me get the principal's name. Do you have the principal's name, Elise? Julie Humphreys. The principal, Julie Humphreys, and the teacher, Christina Hudgens, are, are going to be the named defendants um, in the lawsuit. In, in terms of whether or not this is happening to any other children at the school, I would say, yes, it is, because this incident happened in the presence of a little girl in the classroom who is biracial. Um, I, I am assuming that it's affecting all of the you know, black children at the school who are aware of this, who are aware of this little boy being called the N-word, that a teacher is allowed to call him the N-word. Um, and we are certainly happy to represent any of the children or their families who wanna come forward and join this lawsuit against the school. In terms of her plan to keep her son at the school, um, you know, we're going to have to have a discussion, you know, about whether or not she does that and if there are any other options to move him. Um, but, you know, to respond a little more directly, her son shouldn't have to change schools from Mandarin Middle School. I think our plan is to really change the school.